stop this madness. You must help my daughter. Shaman Yarnag. He's attacked us. Shaman Yarnag caught my daughter with the son of the Drublog chief Ulagash. We normally live near the Drublog with only minor squabbles, but now they've gone too far. Not this time, but I fear Shaman Yarnag now plots against us. My daughter was in shock after the attack. She refused to speak to me. Please see if Delaneth will tell you anything. Someone must stop the Drublog before they move against us. I left Delaneth in the village. She said she'd be praying to Zen in the meantime, the dear girl. Please, do what you can to help her. I'll wait in the valley near the Drublog's home. How do these things always start? Impetuous youth. Chief Ulukaza's son, Ulagash, wooed my daughter in secret. I told her no love would last. It was not long before the Drublog shaman uncovered their trysts. Then the bloodshed began. No one knows who struck the first blow. It was a battle. Chaos, blood, anger. Now the Drublogs swear they'll kill us all. If only they just leave. By Zen, we will not give up our homes. I'm not surprised you ask. Few worship Zen these days, though his shrines once spanned the whole of Valenwood. He is the god of toil and payment in kind. Fitting we make the wood orcs pay for their actions. The Nahatan flu decimated his faithful. They say Argonian shadow scales infiltrated our worshippers and spread the flu, curse them. We are the last of Zen's followers. If we fall to the Drablog, none will be left to keep the old ways. How do these things always start? Impetuous youth. Chief Ulukaza's son, Ulagash, wooed my daughter in secret. I told her no love would last. It was not long before the Drublog shaman uncovered their trysts. Then the bloodshed began. She told me she didn't mind his advances, that she actually liked him. I forbade her from seeing him, but she didn't listen. I knew that dalliances would anger the Drublog. I prayed to Zen for guidance, but have gotten no answer. We didn't mean to cause any trouble. How can love between two people cause so much suffering? It all happened so quickly. I don't... Shaman Yana came at us in a rage. He screamed that we were unworthy to pray at Moloch's shrine. Then he drew his weapon. Ulagosh, my love! You have to help him! I hoped we would be one day. But Shaman Yana saw us embracing by the lake a few nights ago. He must have told Chief Ulukaz. She flew into a rage. Since then, all arguments end in bloodshed. Peace has been torn asunder. In the eyes of Zen, all love is welcome. But worshippers of Moloch like Shaman Yarnog feel orcs should keep to themselves and not consort with other races. My dear Ulagash must still be with Shaman Yarnog. I fear for his life. Please help him. They were still in Moloch's shrine when I ran away. I think Ulagash was stabbed by the shaman. Have mercy, Zen. Don't let us be parted like this.
Malagash's blood is on your hand. We'll pull with the massacre in Malak's honor. The village. I couldn't help them. So many dead. Oh, Zen, what have we done? A bloodbath. Chief Ulukas killed them all. So much screaming echoing through the entire valley. How could this have happened? Is this the workings of the shaman? Zen, this is too much for one to bear. My daughter Delaneth, my child. I couldn't find her before I was forced to flee. Some villagers went to hide amongst the forest. Please, can you find them? They may know where she's gone. Did it not be my time yet? No. Only the raging Droblog. Zen, why have you abandoned us? Don't trust the orcs, I said. But did they listen? Now they're dead. All dead. No, the poor girl. I can't imagine these beasts left her alive. seen her since the attack. I've got to get out of here.
Did you find anyone? Delanus? They must have taken her. Wouldn't a father know if his daughter died? The Drublog destroyed our entire village. Monsters, all of them. My daughter's actions never warranted this madness. We welcomed the Drublog. We shared a single cup in friendship, and this is what they return? Chief Ulukas was honorable and just, but Shaman Yarnog changed that, and all the others followed his bloodlust. Nothing more than animals they are. My friends, gone. My daughter, missing. What is left for me? I've nothing left except rage and grief. Chief Ulukas must pay for this massacre. She must die, blood for blood, payment in kind. Such is Zen's will. It's the only path left to me. She must have taken my daughter, so she must die. Chief Ulukas will be in her longhouse above the shrine to Morlock. When she is dead, find me in the shrine of Zen across the stream. I must pray for guidance. Ulagosh and I, we tried to stop her, and Shaman Yarnog, he used Ulagosh's blood, the chief's son. Shaman Yarnog meant to kill me, but Ulagosh stopped him. He took the blow meant for me. Please, you have to end this. Tell my father, no more blood.
What news? Have you found my daughter? No! My flesh and blood stolen from me by those twice-cursed fiends. Zen, this is too much. I beg you, don't give me this burden to bear as well. Curse Ulagash! Curse them all! Don't speak to me of sacrifice. Ulugush was a Drublog, same as the rest. I told her no love could live between the Drublog and our people, and now she has paid the price. The Drublog know only blood, and blood they shall have. My daughter only ever wanted peace. Perhaps the chief's son did too. But their blood has forever stained these lands. There's no going back. If I don't stop the Drublog, the suffering will continue. The curse is the only way to end this. Zen answers my prayers. The Drublog will finally pay. I must speak with you. I am the Herald of Zen, Keeper of the Balance. I collect and assign the debts of the faithful. I am here to stop this cycle. The Drablog paid many times over for the death of Mothragor's people. His curse will only feed Moloch's fury. He offers his blood as sacrifice, calling upon the forest itself to mete out justice. But it is not justice he seeks, it is vengeance. Zen will not have more blood shed this day, but one death is better than many. If you cannot stop him, I must. What can you do? What you must. Marthragor has put his trust in you before. You have the chance to guide him away from this path. The spoken word can shape the future in ways stronger than the tears and blood of thousands. If your words ring true, perhaps Marthragor will see a new path. Zen would abandon me in my time of need? After all this, he gives me nothing? They've slaughtered my family and laid waste to my home. They will answer for their crimes. If Zen won't help me, I will find another that will give me justice. I will not. They must all pay, do you hear me? They must pay with their lives. I'll suffer no drublog on these lands as long as I draw breath. Delaneth, if I could see you once more, I would know what to do. She would weep if she saw me now. She only knew kindness and love. Why did I survive while she died? You're right. I must find the balance again. First, I will find my daughter. Hold her one last time, and try to remember the lessons she taught me. Then, I must rebuild. Perhaps I will find the concept of balance once again. If that is to be my burden, I carry it gladly. <laughs>